You sitting up here talking to a dude and he tells you he's an atheist, you need to pack it up and go home. If you're an atheist, you're basing your goodness and morality on what? So well, an atheist is someone who doesn't quite believe in, that there is somebody out there, some God out there. Well, then to me, you're an idiot. Part of the problem, York, is you wasn't paying attention in Sunday school. Hello, everyone. When you hear the name Steve Harvey, odds are what comes to mind is his stand-up comedy, his talk show, or him hosting Family Feud, the game show where he routinely gets PTSD from hearing a naughty word. While Harvey has mostly maintained a positive public image, as you've already seen, he has some choice words for people who don't believe in God. So how about we hear him out? What exactly is Steve Harvey's beef with atheism? But, before we get started, I'm happy to say that this video is sponsored by Ground News. In the age of the internet, we're being bombarded with more news from more media outlets than ever before. And, unsurprisingly, those outlets don't always give us the full picture, warping our perception of the world. That's only been exacerbated with the advent of social media, where algorithms only show us what we already agree with, placing people into echo chambers and further polarizing the population. But, with the Ground News website and app, you can navigate the news more clearly, finding out where an outlet falls in the political spectrum. In fact, while making this video, I used their app to make sure none of my sources went too far in either direction. Ground News also shows you how different news outlets will frame the same story differently. And, by going to the Blind Spot feed, you can find out what stories the left and right are underreporting on. So if you want to be a more informed and less partisan consumer of news, then head on over to ground.news slash nate for a free download of the Ground News app. Back in 2009, Harvey was invited on the Tyra Banks show to offer relationship advice. Why you'd want that advice from a guy who's been divorced twice, I'm not sure, but here's a bit of what Harvey said during the show. Then the third question, you need to get into some personal stuff. What's his relationship with his, with his mom? How, how does he feel about children? Does he have a relationship with God? You sitting up here talking to a dude and he tells you he's an atheist, you need to pack it up and go home. <laughs> you know, talking to a person who don't believe in God, you finna, you finna, where, what's his moral barometer? Where is it at? It's nowhere. You know, I love how he keeps it brief when mentioning your relationship with your mom and whether or not you want children. But when he gets to atheism, he needs to run home the point that you need to avoid these people. Atheist actors like Bruce Lee, Stephen Fry, Daniel Radcliffe, and Ian McKellen, they're not worthy of love. Civil rights activists like James Baldwin and Lorraine Hansberry, just evil people. No moral barometer on them. Countries like New Zealand and the Netherlands, which are less religious than America, and yet happier and more peaceful than America? Truly a hell on earth. It never ceases to amaze me when a religious person argues that you can't be moral without believing in God. Do we really need to go over all the horrible things done in the name of God throughout history and still done today? Do we really need to go over the countless cases of sexual abuse committed by the leaders of religion? Maybe having a relationship with God is not the best way to know whether or not someone's a good person. But this would not be the only time Harvey revealed his anti-atheist sentiment. He echoed this argument again when interviewed by Joy Behar. Speaking of God, you say in the book that uh, you wouldn't go out with a woman. I guess a woman should not go out with a man who doesn't believe in God. No, I mean, why would well, you? Well, do you believe that only people who are religious are ethical and moral? No, I just believe if you don't believe in God, then where's your moral barometer? That's just me talking. I you can believe what you, you want to believe, yeah. but if, if you're an atheist, you're basing your goodness and morality on what? Well, definitely not on a book that condemns homosexuality. Not on a book that's A-OK -okay with slavery. Not on a book where the God I'm meant to have a relationship with repeatedly commits mass murder. And to be clear, I don't think Harvey's in support of any of that stuff. So I have to wonder how much of his own book he's read when he thinks it should be your guide to living a moral life. Believe it or not, there's a wide array of moral philosophies or barometers that don't require a belief in God. Personally, I recommend reading the work of these three wise men. I mean, but what is an atheist? I don't, I don't really get into that. You know, when I've talked to people all the time. I'm an atheist. I just walk away. 
I don't, I don't know what to say to you. What's really unsettling here is that Harvey is literally promoting a practice you'd find in a cult. That being to avoid or cut ties with people who don't believe. I just walk away. You need to pack it up and go home. It's no wonder Harvey thinks this way about atheists when he goes out of his way to not understand them. You know, well, an atheist is someone who doesn't quite believe in, that there is somebody out there, some god out there. Well, then to me, you're an idiot. Okay, well... So I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm just not, probably fine. not the right politically correct thing no, no, to say. No. But if you don't believe in God, I mean, really, you got to have an explanation for this. You just can't tell me this spun out of a gastrous ball. Yeah. I like that. He says you need to have an explanation. Then he proceeds to give one, but then says you can't use that one. You need to have an explanation, but only if it's the one I like. And I have to ask, what is it about the biblical explanation that you find compelling? This is a book that includes stories about a talking snake, a pregnant virgin, water being turned to wine, men rising from the dead, and men surviving for days in the belly of a giant fish. Just like the stories of Greek or Egyptian mythology, these biblical stories are completely at odds with everything we know. Is this really a reliable book for understanding the world? And then all of a sudden, then we were evolved from monkeys. Why we still got monkeys? I guess Steve Harvey learned about evolution off a chick tract. So to answer the question, we did not evolve from modern day monkeys. Rather, we and monkeys descended from a common ancestor which lived millions of years ago. At some point, that ancestor split into two different species in a process called speciation, and then those species split, and those species split, and now we have this diverse range of life on Earth. Think of it like how you and your cousin are both related through your grandparents, but over a much, much longer span of time. But I realize questions like this aren't usually asked in good faith. It is a gotcha question. Steve Harvey is an ultra-wealthy celebrity. If he really wanted to learn about evolution, he could easily get in contact with scientists who could break it all down for him. He could learn about it at a library, a museum, or one of the many educational websites online. It's one thing to be ignorant, but another to be willfully ignorant. I'm telling you, it's right there! Turn around! Uh -uh. Patrick, just turn around! There's too much open here. I just believe that, and if you don't believe that, then I don't like talking to you. I say. Well, it looks like Harvey later changed his mind on not talking to atheists because in 2016, he made the following call to action on his website. Are you dating an atheist and it's causing conflict in your relationship? We want to hear from you. And it wasn't long after that he had a married couple on his show in an episode called Losing Faith. Now, I scoured the internet for the full episode, and I'm afraid I couldn't find it. You'd have an easier time finding the Fine Brothers comedy sketch about rape. But here's a clip on YouTube of Harvey interrogating the atheist husband. Let me ask you something, just yeah. man to man. You, you can't say you don't know, because you know I know you know. You can't, say to another, <laughs> you can't say to another man, I don't know. I just ain't feeling it. Mm -hmm. What ain't you feeling? Come on, man, how can you not believe the same thing I do? How can your viewpoint differ from my own? I ain't seen no miracles. You know, I ain't seen no water turn to wine. I ain't been to heaven, I ain't been to hell, I don't know what it is. You ain't been to heaven and you ain't been I don't there. know about whoever, whoever, whoever been to it. How, I don't know about whoever been there and come back and tell me this is real. That ain't how it work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the problem, York, is you wasn't paying attention in Sunday school. Oh, yeah. See, it's, it's some basics. See, you waiting on the wrong thing. You looking for somebody that have been dead and come back, and you waiting on some water to get turned into wine and somebody to run across a lake. <laughs> ain't, ain't none of that fitting to happen. You're waiting on the wrong thing, man. You're waiting for evidence. That's not gonna happen, you idiot. You know, Harvey, since you're a Christian, I'm guessing you don't believe in Medusa, the creature from Greek mythology. I'm guessing that if asked why you don't believe in that creature, why you aren't feeling it, you'd say something like you've never seen a person with snake hair before, or you've never seen a person turn to stone. But what would your reaction be if someone told you, that isn't how it works, Steve Harvey. You weren't paying attention in school. You're waiting for a person with snake hair, and that's not gonna happen. Would that be a compelling argument in your mind to believe in Greek mythology? If your answer to that question is no, then why would what you said be a compelling argument for Christianity? 
But don't worry, Harvey didn't tackle the situation alone. He also brought on the most qualified marriage counselor, the televangelist Paula White. God has good things for you, York, and if you'll open your heart just a little bit, I yeah. guarantee he'll come in like yeah. a floodgate and show you a love that is beyond anything you've ever experienced. Yeah. Okay. The woman who would later try using mass prayer to make Trump win the election. We break and divide every demonic confederacy against the election, against America, against that who you have declared to be in the White House. We break it up in the name of Jesus. So yeah, she's about as qualified at marriage counseling as Travis Scott is at running a concert. You can tell the atheist husband is trying to be a good sport, but he has this awkward look on his face the whole time that says, why did I come here? He traveled with his wife to be on this show, hoping to get some meaningful relationship advice, but instead, he was mocked on stage by a pompous multi-millionaire. All because he wanted the same thing you'd require to believe anything else in life. The proof. And this is part of why I can't enjoy watching Steve Harvey anymore. Because I see how much disdain he has for people like me and a growing chunk of the American population. And I wish that Harvey's bad takes ended there, but the man has racked up quite a resume over the past several years. I'm not here to argue whether God no, exists. I, 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 know, just, I know you believe in that. I know you no, do. No, I, I know. Argue, I, 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 I just, you, your well, science stuff. I, I'm just saying. All of my friends are men. I don't have female friends. I don't. I'm, I'm incapable of that. Why? Uh, what do you mean? Well, because, you know, come on. Because you have a wife. Real. Well, I have a wife, and I don't, I don't really have female friends because, look, okay. So if you want me to respond to more from Steve Harvey, let me know in the comments section. But, with all of that being said, thank you for watching. Producing this video was made possible thanks to my generous supporters on Patreon. If you too would like to help support my content, a link to my Patreon can be found down below. You can also help by giving this video a thumbs up to help boost it in the YouTube algorithm. And please make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when new videos come out. Have a great day.